So following on from this morning's lesson, there are only three major keys you need to know for grade two. A major, B flat major, and E flat major. That's three sharps, two flats, three flats. And there are three minor keys, A minor, E minor, and D minor. A, the same as C major, has no flats and sharps. E minor, the same as G major, one sharp. And D minor, the same as F major, one flat. Just to recap also first, if you draw this in the exam, you'll need to do the piano keyboard C and then an equally spaced black note, D, equally spaced black note, E, F, so that that distance there, a semitone, is exactly the same as that distance there, a semitone. And you must, must do, here we are, a, a column there, and then a separate column for the black note, the white note, separate column for the black note, separate column for each white note, and so on. Let me just remind you also that these scales have seven, or should we say seven plus one, so there's eight notes in them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one. These gaps here are gaps. They are not notes, and don't think of them as notes. Ignore them completely. That is a tone, a tone, a semitone. That's why I've changed the colours there. You'll, of course, need to do a bracket round them in the exam, if you're asked to. There's a tone, there's a tone, there's a tone, and here's a semitone. You put a bracket round them, or up at the top, or whatever. And if you forget tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, then write out the piano keyboard first, and on a separate piece of paper, put in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with the white notes, because C major, of course, is only white notes, and that is your pattern. So that's the major scale. And then just to remind you, there are two types, or I suppose you could say three, of minor scale. There's the harmonic minor, from which most of the harmonies are derived in a minor key, the chords. Now this scale is not very good uh, for melodies in general, because as you see here, there's a huge gap between notes six and seven. And so we also have the melodic minor scale, uh, which in fact is has two versions. A going up version, where notes six and seven are pushed up, and the going down version where notes six and seven are pushed down. Now let's look at the descending, the going down version of the melodic minor. Uh, and by the way, melodic, let me say again, uh, tones and semitones, there are no big gaps. Uh, that's why this scale is better at melodies, uh, the going up version as well as the going down version. Right, this descending version is also called the natural minor. And the point is that it is this scale that is exactly the same as the key signature. So after working out the major scale from C to C on the white notes, we can now work out this set of uh, notes uh, from the white notes A to A. And as you see, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. You may remember we lined up the first note of the major scale with the third note of the minor scale. And if it's the natural minor or the descending melodic minor scale, we will, we've already said that the notes are the same as the key signature. So there we are. You see that all of those notes there overlap completely. Let me say again, this is the relative major that is the relative minor, and it doesn't matter what key you're in, G minor, uh, B flat major, or whatever it happens to be, the, the relationship between those two is what we call the relative major and minor, because essentially the notes are the same. And I mentioned that I like to say you go down a third. Um, another way of working it out is going down one, two, three semitones, but then you have to know what notes are in the scale. That's, of course, the same, uh, whichever way you do it anyway. Now, if you put these two next to each other so that they're parallel with each other, there you quite clearly see 
One, two, three for the minor. One, two, three for the major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's that flatter version. Seven, eight. That's a flatter version as well. And the thing is, that note there is the leading note pushing up. Seven, one in singing names, Tito. And this scale doesn't have it. And the harmonic minor scale raises that seventh note so that there is a leading note. So let's recap. The descending melodic minor scale, which is also called the natural minor scale, has exactly the same notes as the key signature and is essentially the same as its relative major scale, except that it starts on a different note. The harmonic minor scale uses all the notes of the key signature, but changes another one which is not uh, as shown in the key signature. So, for example, if we have a minor here, which has no sharps and flats, in the key signature, there will be in the music here and there a G sharp as well. Now I just mentioned a moment ago that this large interval of one and a half tones here between six and seven, plus the fact that our, there are now three pairs of semitones, um, I mean three semitones in the scale, uh, doesn't make the scale very good for melodies. So what we then do if we're going up, because we still want the leading note going up, we then make the sixth note uh, higher as well, like this. That's the raised one as well. And of course those two on the way down are back to their original position. So going up, both of them are up, six and seven. Going down, both of them are down. Let's look at this. Harmonic minor. A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp. A, even though G is in the key signature. So we write the G sharp in as an accidental. So better for melodies is one, two, sorry. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Which incidentally is exactly the same as the major scale of A major except for the third note, which of course is the minor third. A, B, C, not A, B, C sharp, but that's just by the way.